Hey guys, what's up? By the way, this is Mark and welcome to Havi TV. First of all, I would like to thank you guys for all of the support that you that you've given especially to our channel. And of course, if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get updated on our new video like this one. And now without further ado, let's get the video started. For today's video, we will do an experiment about how to culture microworm without a starter. So now let's prepare the materials. A knife. Clear plastic container. You can purchase this at your grocery store or in kitchenware department in a plastic section. Oatmeal for media. Yes. Needle, disposable spoon, teaspoon, potato, cup for starter, and last but not the least, a rusty shovel. <laughs> And now let's go to our procedures. Let's use a knife to cut the potato. Then make a hole in the center of it using the spoon like this one. Let's find a tree and dig a hole under a tree using a shovel. Let's place the potato like this, and then vary it with soil and cover it with anything having a flat bottom surface to make it protected from a direct rain. Let's wait for at least a week. Now I'm using flower pot like this one. After a week, let's now check the potato and dig it carefully.
And now let's collect a sample using a disposable spoon as our starter. I'm using oatmeal as our media for microworm culture and add the boiled hot water into the media and mix it thoroughly using a spoon and let it cool for 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, put the mixed oatmeal into the clear plastic container and distribute the microm starter. and add the pins of yes like this and mix it. Use a needle to make a small holes on the plastic cup or lid for air circulation and to protect the culture from small ants and flies. Then place a microm culture into a cold dry place for at least two weeks. After two weeks, let's try to check the culture. And yes, 
As what you can see, our culture experiment is now succeeded, and the microbes are crawling in the container's wall. Let's now go to harvesting. For harvesting, let's prepare a glass with water like this. I'm using my finger and harvesting the microns like this, or you may also use chopsticks or cotton buds and put in the glass like this. Can you see the small wiggling worms? <laughs> Let's try to feed our fish fry. Note, if the microbe culture is starting to smell bad and starting to deteriorate, you may now make another culture using the remaining microworm as your starter. Thank you so much guys for watching the video till the end. Hopefully this video helps you find another source of live food for your fish fry. And if you want another video learnings like this one, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get updated on our next video. And if you have any questions and suggestions, you can send us message at our FB page at habitv.ph. I would love to answer all of your inquiries there. For other videos, let me check our in screen right here. And happy fish keeping everyone, and may God bless us all. Bye bye.